the next topic of the strain energy. In our earlier lectures, we have already discussed the strain energy due to the gradual loading. As far as strain energy is concerned, we have already talked about that strain energy is made up of two words, that is strain plus energy. Means the energy stored within the material or the body due to the strain applicable or generated into it due to the application of the force. Moreover, the strain energy stored in a body or a material depends upon its physical quality that is known as or a mechanical property that is known as the resilience. Resilience is the property by virtue of which a material can store the energy into it due to the deformation into it after the application of And in our earlier lecture, we had derived an equation for the strain energy how the strain energy is being stored into the material under the application of the gradual load. Gradual load means you are applying the load step by step. Now, in the second session, in today's session, we will be discussing about the strain energy stored into the material or the machine part of the body due to the application of the sudden load. Due to the application of the sudden load is being applied. Since the sudden load is applied, so the load, in case of sudden load, in the earlier case, as far as gradual loading is concerned, we had taken that once the gradual load is applied, the total load applicable or the effective load applicable is taken as P by 2, where P is the load. But in case of a sudden load, the load throughout the body will be same. So in that case, we will be taking the effective load as P only. Means whatever load you are applying suddenly, the whole of the load means the complete load will be considered and it will be working uniformly throughout the material. So in, so in that case, the work done as we have done in the previous case also, so the work done due to the uh, sudden load will be equal to the force multiplied by the displacement or the deformation you can say. So this is force is or force or a load applicable was P. Since we have already told that the complete load will be uh, applicable in case of a sudden load. P into delta. So this is equation number one. Moreover, the strain energy, equation of the strain energy that we have already derived in our previous lecture, that is sigma square upon 2 P into A into L, where sigma is the stress induced due to the application of the load load and the deformation into it. P is the Young's modulus, A is the transactional area and L is the original length of the work So this is equation number two. So we can equate equation number one and two. This is the work done and this is the strain energy. And work done must be equal to the strain energy. Because strain energy has been uh, uh, into the material or stored into the material due to the work has been done on that. So equating equation one and two or comparing equation one and two, P into delta is equal to sigma square upon two P into area into length. Now we will uh, again the after comparing these two equations, we will <coughs> we are going to notice that sigma will be equal to two into P by A. So from this equation after cancelling all these things, sigma equal to two into P by A. P by A is the stress induced in case of the gradual load. We have already studied in our previous lecture. Same means that the stress induced in case of the sudden load is double. P by A is the stress induced in case of the gradual load. From brief equation, we can conclude or it is quite visible that P by A is the uh, sorry, sigma is the sudden uh, stress induced in case of the sudden loading is just double than that of the, you can say, I can also write it on the board also that from this equation that sigma sudden equal to the twice of sigma gradual. So this is the conclusion by studying the equation for the sudden load. Now we will uh, again uh, study the equation for the strain energy stored in a material due to the impact loading. Due to the impact loading. Let us see and try to understand what is the difference between the sudden load, uh, gradual load and the 
now we will study for the impact load. Two cases we have already studied, gradual load and sudden load. Now we will go for the impact loading. I have already taken an example of impact loading. Impact loading, uh, you might have seen the blacksmith working with a hammer to prepare a chisel. He hammered the chisel like that from a height and the weight of the hammer is obviously there. Once the weight of the hammer and the impact with which it is hammering the chisel or the workpiece so as to make it as a chisel. So we will see how much strain energy is being stored into that is the impact loading. That is it. Also work done is equal to W equal to P into H plus data equation number 1. How this equation comes? Let, let us take an example of this one. This is a simple road on which your load has been uh, load has been hanged up to a height at from a collar from a collar at the base. Collar may be called as a base on which this weight will be falling. On which this weight will be falling and there will be a deformation in the L. When this weight falls from here to here, there will be a deformation like that. There will be a deformation like that. This deformation is called as delta L and this is height. So the weight is traveling, the total weight, this is P, P is the, you can say the load. The load is traveling to a distance of H plus delta L. Total distance traveled by this load will be equal to the H plus delta L. So the work done will be, in case of the impact loading, will be equal to x plus delta L, which is equation number 1. Now, again we have got a standard equation for the strain energy, that is sigma square upon 2 e into kl. Now again the same step, we will be comparing equation number 1 and 2, means work done, we are comparing the work done with the strain energy. So, by comparing the work done to strain energy, it comes out to be P to X plus delta. This is your work done and this is your strain energy. Now, we know, we know that the delta L equal to sigma upon E into L. Or we can write it as delta L upon L equal to sigma upon E. We can also write that. Or equal to this is your strain. This is a symbol of strain. Or you can put a subscript also. So, subscript shows this is the longitudinal strain. Now, by putting the value of delta L, we are having a delta L. Putting this value of delta L equal to sigma by L in this equation over here. We will put this value. By putting this value over here, we are getting this step number 5 over here. This value. P into H plus sigma by L equal to sigma square for 2 e to L. Again, open this complete equation. By opening this equation and rearranging this equation, I have got equation number 3. What does equation number 3? Sigma square upon 2 into L here, as it is, as it is. This P into sigma, P into L upon E into sigma. So my left side there, so that's why it becomes negative. Similarly, P into L, this becomes Equation number 3. If you observe equation number 3 very carefully, is it a quadratic equation? Yes, this is a quadratic equation. So, I am comparing and writing a standard quadratic equation, equation so that you may compare the quotients of the different values or x you can say. So, now before that, I am multiplying this equation number 3 on both sides equal to 0 I forgot to write equal to 0. This is equal to <coughs> I forgot to write it to you. So, equation number 3. Now, what I do, I have, uh, I have to do E by AL. E, capital E by AL, multiply both the sides. By multiplying both the sides, I get equation number 4. Yeah. What is equation number 4 is? Sigma square by 2 into E by AL sigma into E by H upon AL is equal to 0. So, this is a standard or final quadratic equation. From this quadratic equation, I will obtain the two values of sigma. Two values of sigma means the stress endures into the workpiece or the material due to the application of the sudden load P. Let us see from the sudden number 3.
So from the slide number three, the next step is by comparing the final equation, which is my final equation, sigma square by two. From this sigma square by two means a is a half, a is a, a is a half, b is minus three by two, b is minus. I am comparing the constant from the standard equation. That is why a. Similarly, c is here minus c and c upon a. I know the rules for equal standard quadratic equation is x equal to minus three plus minus b square upon uh, b square minus four c upon two a. So I put the values. I know the values. So minus three is this one. Minus minus cancel. So this becomes c by a plus minus b square means again the square. Again minus will cancel b square upon a square. Minus four c four as it is a square half. C is here minus C H upon 2A2 into A to the value 5. By solving this complete equation, the equation number 5 gets. Now, again uh, one more thing that if the value of delta, I get a note. Note. If the value of delta is very 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 small. You all know that value of delta is very very small as compared to x. So what do I do in that case? So in step number five, as far as your step number five is concerned, from here. So in this case, in this case. So from this value, यहाँ पे हमने इसको value को खत्म कर दिया. What do we have? So this becomes p into x. Only p into x equal to. <coughs> Step number five. So this is your step number five. If I cancel, if I cancel delta L from here, delta L from here. So this is p into x will be equal to sigma square upon two e into a. Now ये बच्चे का delta तो ये समझ रहा है. Delta negligible है, so that is why it gets cancelled. So final step will be equal to p into x upon a. From this equation, I get sigma equal to 2 p h e upon p h e. So the equation number six is for the impact loading, strain energy stored, or moreover the stress induced into the material due to the impact loading, where where the deformation is just negligible or material. Do not deform at all, even under the application of the impact. So, what kind of stress is going to be induced in that? So, this is the equation number six. So, in our next session, we will be solving the numerical based upon these two. Thank you very much.